I've already made a short on it, but Discord has finally announced threads, and you can test it yourself. To start off, the main requirements for your test server is that you need a bot on the server, you need to have Discord PTB on the account you want to use threads on, and your server must have less than five people. That's kind of like the main category of things you need to do. But to start off, you need to download Discord PTB. So first link in the description, click on it. You'll download Discord PTB. You install it like normal and log in. Next up, you need to go to the Discord development portal. This will be the second link in the description. Click on new application. Name it whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. Click create. Then go to bot. Click add bot. Click yes, do it. Then next up, you need to go to OAuth 2. You need to scroll down, click on bot, and click copy. Now, before you paste this link in anywhere, you need to go to your Discord and make sure you have a server that is blank with not a lot of stuff in it. So as you can see, I have uh, this server, and there's only me online on my alt account. So once you do that, click copy, then paste into your browser, and it will paste in you know the normal bot stuff click select server select the server that you made that was empty click i am a human next up all you need to do is go to your server then go to server settings then click on threads and you will see this thread things now uh it'll basically tell you what you need to do and it'll make you wait for 12 seconds click enable threads and threads is now enabled now what do threads particularly do well as you can see i have my old bot backdoor surprise and i wanted to make a thread about it saying wow like a huge side conversation all I need to do is click create thread and it will create a thread based on that comment that someone sent to me. So I can name it like, wow, what a bot. Then I can also change the archive after inactivity. So now this is great if you want a short discussion on it, a long discussion or the longest discussion on planet earth. So I'm going to pick 24 hours and all I need to do is click create thread. And now I have a thread. First off, Discord's new UI on this is actually pretty interesting. So on the left, you have your whole entire threads window, and you have notification settings for it, and you have a couple more settings. You can leave thread. Then next up, you have edit thread, and this allows you to turn on or off slow mode, change the thread name, and archive after inactivity as a slider, which is nice. And you can also delete it if you want. Next up, you also have search, pins. You have a lot of stuff, and you can open it in full view if you want to focus on that. So that's how you do that. And if you ever want to go back, you just need to click on the channel above it and you will go back to the normal condensed mode. Click on more and you have archive thread, auto archive, delete thread, and copy ID, which will be helpful for moderators and all that other fancy stuff. As you can see on the left, we have a very nice sorting system that Discord has actually implemented. And let's say you are a user just joining the Discord for the first time and you click on a channel, you can click on threads and it will show you a whole bunch of threads that are active and archived, which would be really good for a help channel. Moreover, if you want to create a thread by yourself without having a comment, you can click on the add button and click create thread and you follow the same process. Now, how would this look as a normal Normal user joining the server. Well, if I pull over my normal Discord here, click on my alt account and join the server, you'll see that if I am not actually active in the thread, the thread itself is just condensed and I don't have to look at it. And if I ever want to join the thread, I just need to click on threads and join it, or I just click see thread right here. I'm going to go from the top, click on it, and now I'm actually in the thread. But all I need to do to type in it is just type some stuff, and there I go. I am now implemented into the thread, which is pretty nifty. Now, let's say you really don't want to deal with this thread anymore, you're done with it, or you just kind of want to, it's over, you don't want to participate anymore, just click on the three dots and click leave thread. Once again, you can also click on the three dots and click open and split view, and you have the normal kind of multitask discord look. And if you ever want notifications and add it to your channel list, like I've showed you already over here, you have to join it. It's pretty self-explanatory. Discord has done a really fantastic job. Now let's say I've added my alt account, and how would that look on my alt account as someone receiving a ping? Well, if I minimize and go to the alt account, you'll notice that, wow, what a bot. So they have their own notifications. It works almost exactly like a little channel, but you can opt in and out of channels, which is really, really, really cool. You don't have to worry about roles anymore. Now, one last thing I want to show you is archiving. So if I right click on this thread and click archive thread, what happens is that it disappears and it's gone. And if you go to threads, it won't be in the active tab anymore. But anyone who's looking for information might go to archived and they can click on the thread. Now with archived threads, no normal member can talk on it. So if I go to my main account and I try going to the thread, I can't talk in it. Now you can obviously set up the permissions and do all the little fancy dancy woo woo cool stuff, but a mod could always just type in it again. And now it is an active thread. Overall, a fantastic feature by Discord. I've showed you how to actually get this on your server. Plus, I've also shown you kind of all the abilities of it, which I think is actually awesome because my little shorts video didn't do it justice. Have a fantastic night, sweetheart. I'm actually sweating so much I'm wiping my face with my shirt every single time I breathe. Please save me.